What is going on, Icy Army? It's your boy, uh, C. Josh, and today we're going to be talking about Cooler. And what I'm going to go ahead and say, first of all, if this video gets over 200, well, actually, if this video gets 200 likes by tomorrow morning, I'll drop 200 stones on the Cooler banner once he's live. And that's only if it gets 200 likes, guys. I know you guys can do it. I literally know you guys can do it. If you really want to see it, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, by the way. But we're going to go ahead and talk about Cooler. We're also going to talk about his team, his physical extreme team. And we're going to talk about the banners that he is featured in after his own banner. So first thing and foremost is we're going to go ahead and look at Cooler himself. So he is the physical extreme lead. Obviously, the new god leave of 120% for attack, HP, and defense. You still can put um, super team, super types on the team, but they only get one uh, key, and they also get uh, HP, attack, and defense 50%. So technically, uh, they would get two keys if you're running a double cooler lead. They would get two key, and then we get a uh, HP, attack, and defense 100%. So you can put them on there, but they're going to be a lot weaker, and it's obviously better for you to run a full um, extreme team. Now, the super. He does give uh, immense damage, and he greatly he greatly lowers defense. He really is a hard hitter, by the way, and a great tank. Like that is his max stats up there. Like without the dupe system, he he is a great tank, especially when his passive is off. When he gives attack and defense 100% uh, up for just for himself, and um, he also gets an additional attack that can like he's going to get an additional attack, but it has the chance. Of being another um, another actual super, so already he's really good. He's already getting an additional attack. Um, his links are okay, especially with the shock and speed. There, well, there is a lot of people with shock and speed. Obviously, him having a super fierce battle, which is a fierce battle, is really really good. Um, boss characters, if you get that off, like if you lose twenty percent of your health, you're at eighty percent. Uh, if you're less than eighty percent, uh, you get attack and defense of twenty five percent up. And there are other boss, big bad boss characters that do have this link as well. So definitely, he's going to be hitting a lot harder with that activated. But personally, he is a really really decent unit, and a lot of people did sleep on him on JP, and then whenever he was he came back in other banners, everyone went hard for him. Uh, then because he actually is a good unit. So if you have the stones to spare for him. Uh, you should at least try to go for him. I wouldn't go, you know, extremely, extremely in on him, but I would, I would definitely do it, especially if you have, have a good physical, um, extreme, like units. Now I'm gonna go over to global because it would be unfair for me to stay over to JP side and show you like all of them, especially when he's coming out only on the global side. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down to physical and then change it for extreme types. So uh, I'm gonna say for me though. Uh, Omega Shinron is a must on that team, by the way. Omega Shinron now is, is a must on that team. So, Omega, Goku Black, for me, although those are definitely two that's going on there. This physical, if you have this, which I have, by the way, I do have this physical kid boot. If you have this physical key, kid boot, key boot, uh, technically, well, he's not going to give key, but he is a big, big buffer for the team because anytime he's on the, um, on the field, when... Uh, when your HP is 80% or above. So technically, uh, he does have big bad bosses, by the way. So if it is down, if you're under 80%, you're not going to get the 50% of attack and defense uh, buff for all allies, but you are going to get the uh, attack uh, for 25% for attack and defense buff when it is below 80%. But he is really, really good on there. And plus, he does do supreme damage and he, and he lowers uh, defense. So he's actually... So yeah, he's really, really good on that team. Really good. Obviously, full power Frieza is another one that I do have that's going to be on the team. Like so, technically, really, um, personally for me, uh, I do have Omega Shinron. I have Goku Black. I do have that um, that Super Saiyan Broly. I do have Sand Shinron, and I also have um, this full power Frieza. And I literally have Kid Buu. So the only other support really card that I don't have right now is this Buu right here that did come out. And the tight banner with the Gohan, I do not have him, and he. I don't know why he's still in in Japanese on on this, but he does give out attack and defense for extreme types, and plus three key. By the way, he does give plus three key attack and defense 40% for the extreme types on the team once he's out and his passes out. So 
yeah he's really really good as well um it is a, it is a really fun team to run because if you have crits for all these guys and stuff and they're all going to automatically going to have that additional that you know that free additional attack so everyone on the team it should be like literally additionally attacking and, and doing some damage um on his banner like let me go back to uh, summons really quick so we can go down and scroll for his um for his banner to see basically what you should be kind of looking for on his banner I'm, I'm gonna say that goku i think goku black is on this banner i think the kid boo is on that banner um I want to say full power freezes on the banner and maybe maybe a couple other um, units so I think that um I want to say the tech uh, full power um, well the tech uh, final form cooler should be on there as well uh, by the way we will be looking at the at the Janimba one really quick but where is he at? he should be coming up right okay there we go so for his banner yeah so he does have actually wow i didn't realize he has the muscle in there as well oh snap so he doesn't have wait a minute i want to see all the cards really quick because i want to i feel like he did have him on there oh he doesn't i don't know this could by the way this could literally change for uh, for global they actually could put goku black on there as well i honestly thought that goku black was on there for some reason, I really thought Goku Black was was on that on that banner. But either way, uh, coolers on the banner. You have Merge Zamasu that's on the banner. You have that SCR uh, Cell that's on the banner. Obviously, you have the Broly and a full power freeze up. But the two uh, new units are are the Gohan, and then like I said, that other um, the other Kura, the other the Tech Kura, and then this guy right here, uh, Thouser. He does get his uh, Doken Awaken as well so he so he's a featured unit on there and you can get him to SA um you can't obviously you can get him to SA ten and stuff I think you can even you can st still summon him from other banners I mean at this point in time yeah yeah but um if I'm not mistaken I think their Baba Shop one uh gets a Doken as well the the not the final form but I think it's just just the regular uh cooler well, Kura, uh, the one in the Baba Shop, the AGL one, I think he gets a Doken as well. He's not on this banner. Uh, I don't think he's on any of those banners. He doesn't come back on these banners. Now, I'm trying to think. He's, ba he's back on this banner, by the way. So, a lot of people are probably... Yeah, this is the banner I'm probably thinking of. A lot of people are probably going to be um, either skipping him and waiting for um, the Gojira, aka Gogeta, and Janemba banner because... They are a dual banner, so so basically they're a dual banner summons, and a lot of people are probably going to wait until um, this comes out, which isn't that far. But I mean, again, it is going to be uh, at least uh, at least a couple of months before they actually do come out. So you can get Janemba, obviously, but you can get Cooler again on this banner. You can literally get him on the banner, and I do remember a lot of people actually getting a lot of really good luck on JP on the banner. And that's the same with all the other, like this Angel Goku. He's he's literally on this banner as well again. Um, other than that, I'm trying to see if I can uh, see if these guys are on any other banner. Um, I don't think. Besides, well, I don't know. Is he is he on this banner too? But I, I mean, I don't think we're gonna be getting this banner. He he may be. I don't know. I don't think so. But other than that. Yeah, he's back. Well, he's obviously on this banner. And that's just for the 200 million stuff. But, and he's, and, oh yeah, okay. So he is on the Omega banner. Well, because they were ahead. That's why he's on, that's why he's on there. He wasn't for us. But yeah, he, he would have been for there. So I don't know. They may bring him back in a different banner, I would say. But other than that, that's the other banners that he's actually on. So if you're gonna if you're either gonna summon for him uh, now, whenever he comes out to, to later tonight or in the morning, whichever one you want to summon for, um, or you're gonna summon later on down the line whenever he is for Gogeta and Janemba, let me know in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button as well. Remember 200 likes, and I will drop 200 stones on the Kura banner on the final forum Kura banner. 
So, like I say, if you guys enjoy, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you guys are new, share the video out, and I'm out. Peace. We can get what we want right here. Got it. <laughs> five, five star troll. What is going on? What is going on?